it's interesting that um, a lot of people say that they believe that they're going to another place after they die, heaven or hell or whatever, but they tend to order their lives otherwise. In other words, they're still afraid of death. They're, um, they think about their, the end as um, lights out, as annihilation or whatever. Um, so it's, it's unclear as to whether or not people's stated sort of epistemology or cosmology or, yeah, cosmology, I guess, is what they actually believe. Um, they're, do they believe that they're finite or infinite being? Um, now, that's an interesting thought. Uh, again, you see somebody, say, for example, a religious person who says, I believe that my soul goes on after I die or whatever. Um, but, you, you know, again, I don't really want to argue this point, but you get the strong suspicion that he doesn't really believe that because you, just, you say you observe the way that he lives his life. He doesn't really have that sort of uppermost in his mind because, well, if anyone actually did believe such a thing... Um, anything that you do in this life looks pretty darn puny, uh, irrelevant really, in the face of an eternity in an afterlife. You wouldn't really bother with much of anything in this life, and, and a lot of the religions tell us to take that kind of approach to life itself. Um, <clears throat> but very few people I've ever met in my life, religious people, actually order their life that way. So it's unclear to me that people actually tend to believe their own version of life, the soul, the origin of consciousness, the nature of consciousness, the nature of being. They don't really believe their own theories. Um, now, I tend to be of the lights out subconsciously, the lights out sort of belief, even though my logical mind says that at the end of the day, I don't really know. Um, I don't know where my what my consciousness is. I don't know where it originates, and I don't know where it's going. Um, I don't really know how it relates even to things like before, during, and after. Uh, it's relatively unclear, but something in the back of my mind says that, you know, some, some subconscious or irrational sort of feeling says that when I tip over, it's poof, end of story, end of Andy, end of me. Um, now, I wonder what that sort of, that belief or that suspicion that we are limited actually does to our view of existence itself. I guess some people are horrified by that, or some people are, um, again, sort of released from misery by that, sort of don't sweat anything because we're limited. Or, um, and other people, I suppose, uh, you know, just sort of no real opinion. We'll just see when we get there. That actually might be the majority opinion, but it's difficult to say. Again, we don't really know what people are what people are actually believe in, believe in their own heads. But what do, what is interesting to ponder is the level that that affects our view of existence itself, uh, the afterlife, or the fundamental nature of consciousness, uh, the origin of consciousness, its relationship. Um, and again, it does seem that our that our, that we have a subconscious bias that sort of tells us that we didn't exist before life and we won't exist after life, even though, again, logically one can question that. Um, which leads me to the conclusion, or not really the conclusion, but the suspicion that it may, may be a, it virtually impossible to avoid bias at all. Um, but again, if you, you there's, a, there's a difference between avoiding bias and understanding that you are biased.